Welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Today I wanted to give you an alternative to RSI, and it's called CCI, Commodity Channel Index. Now don't be tricked into thinking that it's just for commodities. People use it for stocks, ETFs, and commodities as well. They use it for all kinds of things, very successfully. All right. And if you don't like RSI, or you kind of like it, but maybe you don't like it, here's something that might actually be better. All right, let me show you what I mean. And today I'll be using stockcharts.com and I'll be using the daily candlestick chart. All right, and so I'm thinking like a swing trader here using the daily chart. Although all these indicators can be used if you adjust the time period for day trading or long term or whatever you like. All right, so let's say you're on stockcharts.com and you put up your chart for whatever stock or commodity or ETF, whatever you like. Uh, I did this for Baidu. All right. You go down to the bottom and you go to indicators. All right. And uh today I'm going to put up the RSI at the standard setting for the daily chart, which is the 14 period. But I'm also going to put the CCI. All right. So you have to look for it. It's in there. All right. CCI Commodity Channel Index. Okay, so you put that on there, and the standard setting for that is the 20 period. All right, and I like to put them below the chart, and you click Update, and here you go. So this is for Baidu, for an example. And if you look at Baidu, we can see the problem with RSI on the standard setting. Okay. If you're looking for a buy signal, a lot of people use the RSI as a buy signal. What they'll, what they'll do is they'll wait until it goes below 30 into oversold territory, and then they wait until it comes back up above 30. Okay, so when it goes below 30 and then comes back up above 30 out of oversold territory, that's a very common buy signal, all right? Because not only is it cheap, but it's also coming back up. All right, so the momentum is coming back up out of the the inexpensive uh, range, which is what I look for. Okay, uh, but the problem with the 14 period RSI is that look at this. You know, you've got all this chopping going on here, lots of perfectly buyable dips here. All right, when you could have made money, and it's not giving any buy signals here. At no point did it go, did it decisively, it almost went here, but not quite. At no point, in, and this is five months here, at no point did it go below 30 and then decisively back up above 30. And so you, you can go literally for five months uh, and have lots of chopping and lots of dips you could have bought, but you'll be missing out. All right, and so it can be very boring, and you could leave money on the table. Well, you might want to try as an alternative to the RSI the CCI Commodity Channel Index, not just for commodities; it's for stocks too and ETFs. It's it's very similar, as you can see. It's just the numbers are different. For this one, if it goes down below negative 100 here, that is oversold territory, and then so it's the same idea. You want it to go below the you know below negative 100 into oversold territory and then back up decisively back up out of the oversold region oversold region back up above the negative 100 line here okay so as you can see you know it almost does it here but not quite but then it clearly does it here and so you could have had a buy signal here which is right here and then it just went up and up and up quite nicely could have made a nice profit there it did it again here went into the oversold region and then back up clearly okay so you would have bought right around here and if you had held on you would have done quite well all right and so uh, the CCI on the standard settings will give you more buy signals in many situations than the RSI okay it can also give you false signals and by the way none of these are perfect indicators you cannot rely on them hundred percent you need to make your own decision as to when to buy and you can use more than one indicator all right, so here's another one. Uh, this is United Health Group, UNH. And uh, I put up both the RSI and the CCI again. And as you can see, we've gone almost half a year, five months, without any buy signals. And there's some nice dips here that you could have bought. Here's a dip, here's a dip, here's a dip. All those were buyable, but the RSI on the standard setting, and yes, you can change the setting, that's one way, or you can look at the CCI, okay, at the 20 period, which is the standard setting, and look, it told you to buy here because it went into oversold and then came back up decisively, clearly out of oversold, and you could have bought here, right, right there, and you would have done well, 
Okay, uh, here it did it again. You could have bought here and held on. You would have done well. Did it again here, and if you had bought here when it came back up out of the oversold region and held on, you would you would have done extremely well. All right. Give you one more example. I decided to do a commodity, or at least a commodity ETF. This is IAU, which represents gold. Look at all these nice dips here. Okay, this works great in choppy markets. All right. And let's take a look at how the RSI did. It gave no clear buy signals if you're using the method that I'm referring to, where it has to go below and then back up above oversold. Didn't do it here at all. No clear signals. Whereas it worked beautifully here. Uh, you would have, you could have bought here, enjoyed a nice run up here, made a nice profit. Could have bought here for a nice run up. It does have a false signal here. Okay, it it didn't work so great here. You could have bought here, and then yeah, it went up a little bit, but then it went down. Okay, so you could have lost money there. Possibly you could have gotten stopped out if you had a stop loss. So as we can see, it's not perfect. But then over here, it worked great. Went back, you know, down here and then back up above, and you could have bought here for a nice run up. So three out of four, not bad. All right, and if you set your stops correctly and let your winners run, then you would have done quite well with this. Whereas with the RSI, no buy signals according to this method. All right, so check out the CCI. In addition to or instead of the RSI, because it might just be better, and it might be something you never heard of until now. And so I'm glad to help people discover these things. All right. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube, and uh, please leave comments, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can receive the latest updates on my financial educational videos. And uh, if you want some help with uh, technical indicators or putting together a trading or investing plan because you really need to have one, you can contact me at any time. My name is David Modell, and my email address is davidmodell at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching and listening. I appreciate it very much, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.